What's up YouTube? Today we're here. I'm gonna show you what is the best Master Yi items. How should you play Master Yi? Should I take Ghost now? Should I take Flash now? Should I still take Lethal Tempo? What about Hate of Blades? Lethality? All these pr options, crit build. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna ma make it very simple. I have played, I've just streamed for 18 hours, so just, I have a lot of experience, trust me. Uh, and my feelings are in 95% of the cases correct, so feel free just to watch the video, copy what I'm doing, and have a great success in your games. Alright, let's get it started! So first of all, about the new item builds. I'm not gonna show anything here on the client, because my editor will just show it on the screen. So what are the new item builds? What changed for Master Yi? First of all, I will not talk about these all these new items because I will just talk for hours. You can just ask me on my streams. But basically, it is just I'm saying I'm talking about my feelings. I'm talking about my opinion. Whatever you do in the end is your decision. I'm just sharing. This is what I think is the best. Okay, and I would recommend you to copy what I'm doing. Trust me, I have played this game through with my fucking Master Yi. Okay, everything is almost trash for Yi. <laughs> um, the new Rage Play can be a buff, it, it's mostly a nerf. It just depends on how you play, but most of the times it's, it's still nerfing Yi because you now have to stack it all the time. Um, but I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna make it simple. If you have questions about the new items, I... Pretty confident that they are pretty they suck, they suck on master Yi. i would not want to buy them too much what is the best is go blade of rune king every single time as first item this item was even before the item changes the item with the highest win rate throughout all the first items master Yi could buy and riot games did not change that item so it is still the best for master Yi. kraken first item is terrible you never want to do that and next position. If you have 1,200 gold on the first back, then you're gonna buy Rage Knife every single time. If you have 1,500 gold on the first back, Boots, T1 Boots, and Rage Knife. Rage Knife is an amazing first back. And after you bought Rage Knife, you're not gonna finish Berserkers, you're just gonna finish T1 Boots, Rage Knife, and then you're gonna rush Blade of Room King. After you finish Blade of Room King, only then you will finish your Boots. So, while you're buying Blade of Fruiting, you can buy T1 Boots, as most of the times movements is very, 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 very important in Master Yi. Um, so, you can, uh, or you should only buy T1 Boots, finish Blade of Fruiting King, and then you can finish your Boots. Which Boots should you take? I think, in most games, Berserker is still the best, didn't really change that much. You can take Tenacity Boots, like Mercs, or Steel Caps, that is fine, depending on enemy team comp. But in 90% I will still buy Berserkers and if you are good at avoiding problems, avoiding weaknesses and embracing your strengths, Berserkers is better. And why? I give you a big argument on why it's better. Let's say you're full clearing, okay? You're full clearing, then taking Dragon, then going for bot lane play. The entire time you have extra attack speed from Berserkers. This extra Mercs, extra tenacity, does zero for you. The entire clear, the entire time you kill the dragon, the entire time you go for bottling egg. The only time Mercs, for example, is good if Malza presses the button ult. Okay? This is a, this is just an example. Or like any flash tippers in your face. Okay? Then tenacity is important. But how often do you get flash tippers in a game? I personally have, if I play against a good Annie, she maybe does it twice a game. That's about it. And even those two, if you play very well or snowball correctly, you can avoid. So tenacity doesn't really help you that much only a few times throughout the game but berserkers extra attack speed helps you the entire game first is a blade of the rune king the goal is to rush blade of the rune king always because the moment you have finished this item it's a huge power spike before you have finished the item you're just you're average you're pretty decent not too broken you're pretty decent but the moment you finish blade of the rune king you are very strong so rush it okay now we have blade of the rune king a rage blade attack speed boots what is the next scenarios now in 90 percent of the games you will go witsend witsend is also unchanged and was always strong for master yi after his level 12 level 13 it starts to be very very broken because it scales with level level 14 15 16 around that time you should really really have witsend because it's just enormous damage okay keep that in mind so that's about it that's the core build nothing else matters and now the other 10% when should you not buy Blitzend? Okay, if the enemies have full AD burst, champs. Like Kiana, like just full damage, 80, 80, 80, 80. 
Okay, then you don't buy Witsend. Sure. But in most games, you will buy Witsend. If you don't buy Witsend in this position, yeah, you can go for, like, for example, Kraken early. You can go for, like, I don't know, Death Stands. It doesn't really matter, okay? You can also buy Steel Caps and then still go for Witsend. There are many, many options. But most of the times, there's at least, even if their enemies have heavier AD, they still have some AP problems, let's say, call, let's call them. Or, like, some damage sources from AP. And for that, you always want to have Witsend, especially now, now since item changes, for example, Rage Blade, it deals AP and AD damage, you know? So um, when, whenever like a Kog'Maw or something boss buys uh, Rage Blade or whatever. So most of the times you anyways need both Magic Resist and Armor. Okay, so this is the core item build with, with on it. I will show the runes real quick for on it. So the runes, this is the perfect rune page for on hit i'm gonna explain it real quick and then i'm gonna finish the build okay so we have lethal tempo triumph alacrity i don't need to explain it coupe de gras you can take last stand now absolutely fine but i take coupe de gras nonetheless i think it's still better relentless hunter is better than treasure hunter if you go ghost in most games when you go flash treasure hunter is better that simple i'm not gonna explain it further i'm gonna explain it on my streams it's that simple okay um, movement speed is extremely valuable. The extra gold is good to give you to give you items, but you only need Blade of Rune King, and afterwards the item spikes are not that big as Blade of Rune King. Red Hunter is completely fine to take. Both is completely fine to take. Okay, if you want this, take this. If you want the other one, take the other one. It's not that complicated. Okay, um, if you take Flash, I would recommend Treasure Hunter. If you take Ghost, Red Hunter is good, but both is extremely viable. Okay, L L Eyeball Collection is always better. It gives an insane amount of 80, like if you have one or two kills early, every clear, everything is just faster, it is for sure the best, okay? Um, if you take on it, there's another option, for example, Boots and Cosmic um, Insight. If you take this one, you are going to get Blade of Rune King faster. You don't take Futures Market, you don't take a Approach Philosophy, that's not my playstyle. You can do it, whatever, but it's not my playstyle. This, these two is fine. But in my opinion, like, not in my opinion, in general, this is more gold efficient. This room page, you can take the boots here, but I personally think the domination will be better in 95% of the games. Okay, and the rest is not really... The rest is, like, everything else is... I've said it one last time. Everything else is doable and okay. But this is the best and optimal. 100%. Okay. Attack speed 80, one thing about health and armor and magic resist, you always want to take health if the enemies have burst. Mm, just trust me. Um, and you want to take health because health outscales armor rune already level 4. Um, keep in mind, only if the enemies have like a lot of AD DPS, then you take armor or magic resist. Or like if you really want to have an early fight, early cheese, whatever, you take armor. In like 10-20% of, of the games, I take armor. And now the finish of the build. Blade of Rune King, Berserker's Greaves, Rage Blade, Wit's End. And now the interesting thing comes. Now you go Kraken or GA. And if you did that, if you bought that one, you're going to go the other one. So then you're going to buy GA or Kraken. So you're just going to buy these. And everything else is just very situational. You can buy Zonias in some cases. You can buy Death Sands in some cases. You can buy Morphin Mutches in some cases. Yes, maybe Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer, like everything is situational. I wouldn't like it. You can even go like Randuins, you can go like in, in Magic Assist item. But no, Magic Assist I would always take more. Um, yeah, that's about it. Very simply explained. Um, if something changes, just check on my streams. And one more thing I want to talk about is the crit opportunity. On the crit one, it's gonna be a long video. I, every time I want to make it so short, but I, I just I can talk for hours and hours. I need to focus so hard to keep it short. Okay, crit build real quick. If you take the crit one, you can still take the room page I showed. Completely fine with crit. Also extremely viable. Okay, um, if you need this extra attack speed for the early game for cheeses whatever, then this is the best room page right here. Okay, no discussion in it. If you go crit build, always relentless hunter. If you go crit build, the head of blades always. Uh, no, 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 sorry, not always. You can take live tempo, but I take if I go crit, eighty percent of the times I go head of blades. The good thing about going live tempo is that if you are not snowballing, you can still buy the on hit item build. Then okay, if you have live tempo with head of blades on it item build, it's not that good. 
It's, it's not that good, trust me. You will cancel too many auto attacks with like, now you have more attack speed, then you have lesser, then you have rage speed, then you have more attack speed, then you have old, then you have more attack you, You're gonna lose your mind. Trust me. Um, crit one. Simple facts. It is way, it is way, way worse playing from behind. So if you lose early with crit build, just a vaff at this point, um, it's only good if your enemies have squishy and if the enemies are snowball heavy. Now, if you are snowballing over the enemies, if you know you can snowball over the enemies, if you, you have good setup or whatever, then you're gonna go collector first item into Berserker's Grease into Infinity. Collector is a big power spike. Infinity is a massive power spike with Berserkers. That is your biggest power spike. And now you should one shot every single one of the enemies. Then you go Phantom Dancer. And then you're gonna go Blade from King, Wits, and whatever. You're gonna go a little bit more on it in the end. 60% crit is enough. You can go maybe Blood First as well for 80% crit. But more crit always means that you have not more attack speed or not more damage. For example, Blade from King gives damage and attack speed. But if you buy a crit item with damage, you have no attack speed. If you buy an attack speed item um, with crit, you have no damage. And most of the times you just need survivability at the end because you don't have this dust blade stealth, which you which we had season 11. So now it's just better if you go full crit. Maybe you need some survivability um, and not just pure damage. You will deal an insane amount of damage and as well, it scales better than the old dust blade build. The old dust blade build will fall off at one point extremely because of GA, Zonias, whatever. But with the new crit build, you will with Phantom Dancer and all the stuff, you will still be able to deal damage even after your burst. So keep in mind, it scales a bit better. It has a little lesser early mm, pressure because they're not buying Dirk and Dustbed was a big power spike and now Collector's not that big early on. It snowballs heavier. So that means if you're able to snow, if you're 10-0 and, and you have Collector and Infinity, it's GG. Uh, it's completely GG. And it's... The, if you get snowballed, it's also worse because then enemies will just one-shot you over and over again and you just don't have enough damage to kill them and you don't have any survivability. Alright, this is about it. Oh, and now we need to talk about Ghost and Flash. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Listen. Flash was always better than Ghost because the engage tool. When you have a perfect combo, I my perfect combo is just the one-shot combo. I explained it in many, many videos already. You can just look it up. Perfect must-e combo, whatever. Like most of my viewers know the perfect E combo with... Uh, yeah, most people know. So with Flash, you're able to engage on enemies and save your Q and then use your Q once an ability... Once you need to dodge an ability. That's very, very important to keep in mind, okay? So Flash was always better. But now, since I changed the items, you don't have that much of a burst. Blade of Rune King Rage Pride doesn't isn't that much of a burst than Crack and Blade of Rune King. So you have lesser burst, but you might have more DPS. So you need to play more front to back and a little bit slower. Okay? So the flash engage is great and probably works still in many, many games, but it's not the best always, which it was every single time, every single patch. I've been starting to go a lot of ghosts. You can see it here. I've played it on my 18 hour stream all the time. I play ye ghost, 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 ghost. Um, that's like when I started to switch a bit here. Ghost, ghost. I was testing, just simply testing, testing, testing. Um, ghost is 100% a very great option. And what I personally think right now in 70% of the games, Ghost is better than Flash. And now why is Ghost better? Because in 90% of the games, I go blue pet. Blue Pet, Ghost, Ult, Lethal Tempo, and Rage Blade Stacks. Lethal Tempo Stacks, Rage Blade Stacks. And now you have Ult, Ghost, and Blue Pet. You literally feel amazing like a Demon Slayer running. <laughs> okay, um, so basically, you can, with the extra out of the range, space glide so many people. And that's an amazing tool. You will see that on my streams, how I space glide like an Udyr before he can even stun me. I already space glided him, um, you know. I even did that on my 18 hour stream, 16 hours in. It's like so fun to play. Um, you can gank early on in the game better. It has lesser cooldown, that's where you can gank better. You can run f long term into, like when you gank and you press ghost early, you're having more distance than just flash. So you can, the ganks are getting better, but the one shot, the burst combo on the ganks work less. So flash is better on one gank, but Ghost is more consistent, if that makes sense for you. Um, it Simply, it has less a cooldown. It, it's pretty decent. And in late game, flashing, Flash most of the times wins teamfights. Yes. But with Ghost, you're able to kite the enemy so hard. And if you're good at sidestepping, 
it's just insanely good. One more thing about Ghost. I think the extra movement speed is just a massive for Master Yi. Because as Master Yi, you need to be patient. With Flash, of course, you can go aggressive. But with Master Yi, if you're patient, if you're behind and you're extremely fast moving top, uh, uh, front, back, front, back, front, back, the enemies cannot really target you. How can a Syndra QE you when you're standing in distance and then moving extremely fast around her and then queuing her at the right time? She can't really deal with it if you play correctly. And now one last thing. If you are not an experienced Master Yi player, then always take Flash. Because Ghost, in my opinion, is only for the GOATs. Only for the real Yi OGs out there. With Ghost, you need to play very, very well. You need to understand the game very well. That's what, how I see it. And type in the comments if you're Giga Chat taking Ghost, if you are the GOAT taking Ghost. Uh, but keep in mind, if you're really not that experienced in Yi, I would recommend Flash, okay? Um, only for the for, for the real OGs. Yeah. We take we take ghost. Alright. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And now keep in mind one more flex before we leave. While I'm flexing, you like the video and uh, subscribe. Okay, so rank 63. We are going for rank one. I want to now it is, you don't see it right now, but now it is 20. 2th of May when I record this and I want to be rank 1 mid of June or end of June Mark my words because I have to do some stuff afterwards I just I, I don't expect rank 1 to be that long of time I like two months or rank 1 is a bit cringe All right guys, that's about it. Feel free to copy what I'm doing Enjoy your Master Yi games. I wish you the best and always try your best and conquer Let's get it and I will see you on my streams much love, guys.